rest? Okay. I'm resting rest. And I had all sorts of experiences on my own with my music and trying to figure out things in life. And then one day I decided to come to Unity Church and they were saying all the things that were my songs. It's <laughs> <laughs> a true it's a true thing she's telling. <laughs> Yeah. And I come with her. I, I play guitar with her. Where is my heart? Let me know. How did I arrive here? But I'll take the leap of faith. Well, it's I guess maybe five, maybe six years ago. It's we've been coming six years. Five, at least five, I think. I think it's been longer than that. Really? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'll say it the other day and it was two years ago. So it could be longer than five, six years. I don't I don't think it's been over seven though. For sure. But um, yeah, we come here and everybody acts like we're the exact people they were hoping to see that day. It's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. If I were to use one word to describe the unity of Music City, it would be family. You're in the right category. It's fun. <laughs> it's, got the right first it's actually letter. family fun. You know, where yeah. family is actually fun. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Oh, music City has impacted my life in such a deep way because I do have family now. Yeah, we live a little too far away to come every week. It's, it's over an hour to get here. But um, yeah, it's it's definitely my favorite church. It's the most authentic one, I think. And, Absolutely. And not only that. But um, it's really nourished our music and our gifts, and they give us a place to express them. Yeah. Uh, I think it's kind of funny that I asked, uh, emailed Judy Blackwelder months, uh, probably six or seven emails, and didn't hear back from her. And then I would email the office manager, and and she said, well, she's really busy. She's with the high school band. And then um, I emailed her some more, and but got nothing. So I said, okay, well, that's. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be playing there. I'm just going to let it go. And then I came for Sean O'Shea's 50th birthday party, which was a blast. I was so happy I came, and I went up and I played a song. And then Judy asked if I would play at the church. It was great. It was so divine. It was it was wonderful. Just let it happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, there's not a single one, just... Um, how often Judy changes keys. <laughs> <laughs> A little ADD action there. <laughs> for the next 20 years for Unity of Music City, I see more and more and more people coming and receiving the gifts and the light and the love and the clarity that's offered here. And, uh, and I, I see more music actually, and I just see the message really being not only accepted and transforming, but I see a lot of people being drawn to the light. Yeah, and, and also I see the kids growing up and stepping in to leadership roles and I just see it all growing up. I mean, I don't know how big is really appropriate for it to get because there it reaches a point where a church is too big and, and it becomes about the church instead of about you know, God and the congregation. So, um, so I don't know if I have hopes for it to become huge, but I do have hopes for it to, uh, my vision for it is that it, it will be self-sustaining, effortlessly self-sustaining, and um, the kids will grow up and take leadership roles and, you know, it'll, it'll evolve and grow like it's supposed to. I'm good. Thank <laughs> you.